How's it going guys? This is Vaughn, back here with more American Truck Simulator. We're checking out the uh, Kenworth T800. Uh, it's a free mod on the Steam Workshop, so I'll have a link to it so you can go and check it out. Uh, we got the Coastal Freight skin on there as well. So this model that we're driving is the Studio Sleeper. Uh, we've got a 6x2 chassis on there. Uh, same engine as in the last video, it's the Cummins ISX-15, 600 horsepower. Uh, not the straight pipe, just the, the base engine, that's my favorite <laughs> engine right now. So that's what we're, we're riding with today. Uh, we've got quite a bit of detail in this truck considering it's free. And uh, got our headache rack back there, I think that's a pretty recent addition to this truck. So, it's looking good. Let's go ahead and start her up real quick. Cool. Headlights are on. Brights working. Yep. We're good. Looking good. Got our markers there on the side. Cabin lights are all working good. I'm not going to honk the horn because it's almost 1 a.m. I don't want to wake up the neighbors, so <laughs> we're going to just uh, pretty much get in our cab and uh, get driving along. So let's do it. Sounding good. I always uh, kind of rev the engine just, just for fun. I don't believe our parking brake's on, so I think we're good here. Awfully dark out here, that's for sure. So we're at our garage right now in Jordan, Montana. We're going to be uh, picking up a shipment in uh, Jordan as well. So we don't have to go far, uh, just four miles down the road. Picking up at Hell Creek Ranch, uh, so we're headed that way now. Uh, the lighting is a little off though. I'm gonna see what's going on with that. Let's see here. Just our lights. Uh, something's a little off here. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. Let's see our GPS better. It's just really dark out here. There's like there's no street lights or anything out here. It's pretty remote. Where we're at, so mirrors too. It's real, real dark. Can't see much. It's like we're just going down that way a little. Turn our brights on. Yeah, I can't see anything, so we are going to take a turn here. All the cattle out there. Turn it right here, looks like. Kind of spooky. It's real dark out here. Alright, let's see the job offer. Make sure what we're picking up is what we want. Live cattle. And we're going to Lincoln, Montana. It's about a little over seven hour drive, so. Probably what I'm going to do is change the time a little bit. Uh, that way we're not driving in complete, complete darkness the whole time. Okay, Sky says make a U-turn. Uh, so it's got to be behind us, but we can't actually see. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to go forward here, and then uh, we'll do a little U-turn so we can see where our trailer's at. Uh, hopefully we don't run into anything. Okay, that's it right there, I think. There it is. Uh, yeah, backing up is going to be a little tricky here because I can't see much out of the mirrors. So, you have arrived at your destination. I wonder if our, uh, yeah, we don't have any brake lights on. Oh well. Um, we'll try to reverse it and see, uh, <laughs> see if we get it. I think we're lined up okay. Uh, we'll find out. As soon as it, uh, lets me know if I'm good, I'm gonna... I'm going to take it. 
Hopefully we don't actually hit the trailer. There we go. That's good enough. We'll just stick with that. Okay, so let's get our parking brake on real quick. I'm going to change the time, so dev console, and then we're going to do, uh, I believe it's G set time, and uh, we'll go with 630. That's going to be, yeah, about five hours. Boom. Whoa, there we go. That's a little better. Okay. Yeah, much better. <laughs> you can actually see now. Aw, oh, come on now. Don't stall on me. Get more gas. There we go. Oh, look at that plane. Wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I That looked like a... A kamikaze type move to me. I don't I don't think uh, that's safe. <laughs> ah, come on, I keep stalling it. Ah, man, we hit the damn thing. I thought I was clearing that. Gee, what is, what is it with this, uh, this transmission? I don't think what we're pulling is that heavy. I wouldn't think. I hope we can make that the trailer. Okay, we must have barely cleared it. It looked like it was going to be close. Okay. Yeah, off to a rocky start here, but we, we got it going. We got her going. <laughs> okay, we're on our way now. We'll stay in six for right now. And, uh... There, yeah, there's something weird with the mirrors. Let me see, is that a is that a window tint thing? Nope, it's dark like that. Anyway. I I had the same problem with the uh the Mac uh what do you call it? The CHU, I think. Just the mirrors were extremely dark for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. I need to look more into that. Um Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the, the mirrors, mirror situation, but, uh, you know what, I'm going to need to adjust one more thing. <laughs> My, I do apologize for having to keep fixing stuff over and over, okay. Sit here for a second. I need to fix my, uh, my head tracker. It's out of line. I'm looking straight at the monitor right now, and it's the camera's over to the right too much. So I need, to, I need to fix that tracking really quick, so bear with me. Okay, back in here now, and it is fixed. Yeah, we're looking straight on. Perfect. Okay. Now we're good to go. Let's try to not stall this guy again. That was really bad, so I apologize about that. Lost count of how many times I stalled this, this darn thing. But anyways, there's a um, golden hour for you. Coming up at uh, 7 a.m., plenty of sun, and uh, we're still going to arrive within sunlight. Uh, our ETA is 1.30 p.m., so we should be good there. And uh, another cool addition, you can see my uh, camera over here on the bottom left. Finally got the needed um, add-ons. It was just a pretty much a single cable <laughs> that I needed to actually run my um, camera to the uh, PC and then have it as a live feed inside of uh, OBS where I do the recording. Because um, I already had a, uh, a little capture card. Uh, it's not an Elgato, it's another brand, but it's a 4K 60fps capture card. So it definitely could do the job well. Um, we almost got into a wreck last time we were here. <laughs> Get ready. Get right. Slow her down a little bit. 
again. To go. We also don't have any blinkers, any blinker sound. Interesting. Something's a little messed up. Which is understandable. I mean, it's a free mod, so you're not gonna... Not everything is gonna be flawless, you know? Uh, but hopefully they can take a look at that. Um, Oh my goodness. I am I am terribly sorry about this. One more thing. One more thing. Mirrors. We need, need to fix our mirrors a little bit. All right. Promise that's the last thing we have to adjust. That's the last thing. Enough interruptions. Um So yeah, the little capture card that I've got uh, works pretty good. So all I needed was just the uh, the right uh, camera cable to go from. So my camera uses a uh, it's a Lumix uh, G95. So it uses the micro HDMI output. Um, that's essentially all I needed was just a micro to regular HDMI, and then to run it into the capture card, and then the capture card will capture the feed and uh, output it to OBS, so uh, it was pretty simple. I don't know why I had never really looked into doing that before, because I literally the only thing I missed was the cable. Uh, I've got it also hooked up to uh, electrical output, so it keeps it powered on uh, without draining the battery, so this will be perfect for, you know, streaming or recording, um, you'll pretty much see this little camera feed on the corner there every time. The only gripe I do have about it though, and it, I think it honestly comes down to the, uh, I should be using, uh, a better light, because at the moment I've got, a just a regular table lamp pointing here at the wheel because the, uh, the, what do you call it? It's a weird thing, so the, the, it's been like this since we moved into the house, into this house. We've been here um, about a year and a half, something like that. Uh, we moved here September of 2022. So ever since we moved into this house, this office that I, uh, where I have my work from home set up and everything, is uh, it has a fan in here, but the fan only has one string. So it only has the string to turn the light on and off not the fan. So the fan is stuck on high speed all the time. <laughs> so if you flick the wall switch and you want the uh, the light on, you gotta you gotta deal it with the fan too. Which um, I get cold very easily so these last few months during the winter time uh, I, I am not needing a fan on uh, at full blast. So Instead, I kind of rely on, on my table lamp to, uh, to do the job for me. Looks like we got a working light up here. Slow down for the work zone. Made it just in time, too. That's a, that's a fast yellow light. Holy. They give you, like, no time. So anyway, who, since I'm having to use a, uh, a table lamp for my lighting uh, in the office, uh, that's what I use to also target the light over here to the, uh, the wheel so that it's visible and looks decent on the camera because I can't, I can't run that big old light with the, uh, the fan being on full blast. I just can't do it. 
but I think what I should do instead is um, I should use a a white light bulb um, rather than the, the yellow light because the uh, the yellow light just it, as you can tell it adds this like orangey tone so this weird skin tone that it gives me even even not even with the camera but even me just looking at my hand like it's all it makes me look like an oompa loompa minus the green hair so i need to get uh, a white light that way it, it'll reflect that better and it won't have this ugly uh tone to it sorry for the random cut there had a another coughing spell so you guys don't want to hear that um so that's the next thing I gotta kind of fix is uh, the hue of the um, that light. Uh, I don't, I'm not I'm not a fan of that. At least we have a good Jake. That that's <laughs> I love a good Jake. Other than that, though, I am pretty happy with the, uh, the setup that we've got going here. So the only thing different will be on the live streams, uh, I'll use my, my webcam up there right next to my head tracking uh, device, little camera, IR camera, IR tracker, whatever you call it. Uh, That'll be the only difference. Other than that, the live streams will look exactly like this. With the, uh, the wheel cam here on the left side, bottom left. So, that's a pretty cool addition. I've been, want been wanting to do that for a while, but just never, <laughs> never really did the homework, I guess, into looking for the, uh, the cable. Wow, that dude. Couldn't get close. I need to figure out what's up with those mirrors, dude. That's a little weird. It's it's super super dark in some places, and then once you're in the sun, it's so ex overexposed. I mean, the way that it is right now, with that weird lighting thing, it's it's strange. You can barely even really see out of it. And we gotta have working mirrors. We need working mirrors if we're going to be safe. So anywho, that's what's going on there. And then continue straight on. I'm not sure what else I want to do with the uh, setup here. I'm not... Oh my goodness, dude. Wow. That's the button I meant to hit. Right. Not, the, <laughs> not the camera. My mistake. Yeah, that's not the camera I meant to hit. <laughs> or button I meant to hit. At least we know our horn works, though. I keep getting them mixed up because it's the middle one here, not the top one. Um, I'm not really sure what else the setup actually needs. I mean, it's I've got I've got everything working pretty well uh, right now. So 
Oh, <clears throat> I think that what I was going to say is the only gripe about doing it this way with the uh, the live feed on the camera is that I cannot slap a, a, a LUT onto the, the camera feed only. Because you can probably see the difference in the, the way the camera looks now versus how it looked in the other videos. And that's because I would color grade it using a, a LUT preset um, to give it some cool effect and also to balance out all the extreme colors like, I, like I'm talking about now, the, <coughs> the uh, imbalance of skin tone. Stuff like that. Um, which actually I, I could probably still do if I... If I look into it, uh, I can probably still do that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you can. I think you can do that. You can still put a LUT onto the, uh, or a filter, I guess, is what it would be, onto the, the, the feed of the camera. Maybe that's what I'll try to do. Even if it's just a basic filter for coloring purposes, it would still probably look better. Um, you can probably tell I don't plan out stuff very well. I, I try to give as much attention to detail as possible, like I try to make everything look as high production as possible, uh, as good quality and stuff as possible, but <clears throat> I don't know, it's one of those things that you don't really... Sometimes you can think of everything and sometimes you can't, you just have to see how it looks and then you, you get an idea like, oh man, that would look way better if I did this. Or another thing I do is, uh, another thing I like to do is get feedback. <clears throat> get feedback and get inspiration. Keep the ideas, keep the ideas flowing. Um, I'll watch other people's videos, uh, or I'll, I'll leave myself open to feedback and somebody will say, hey, you should do this, or so-and-so that I know does this, and that's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> you don't want to necessarily copy everything that people do, but it gives you ideas on how to keep elevating the quality of the content, so I'm all about that. Um, I'm willing to, you know, do what's needed to get it get everything looking as good as possible um, also even down to the the content like uh, you know buying different trucks and trailers and stuff like that I'm all about that to just get as much um, I don't know as much variety of content as possible like you, you don't want to see somebody driving this exact same truck for 30 40 videos necessarily unless it's a, a like a let's play or, or a, a company growing company series stuff like that I try to keep it fresh every time and really take advantage of the community's uh, contributions because there's there's no shortage of truck mods out there to to look at and each one can be different depending on what you decide to do with it. Different skins or different trailers or different configurations, engines, stuff like that. So I think it's a good investment of your time, even though it really doesn't take long, to look into changing it up, keeping everything fresh and entertaining. Slow here, actually. For once, I'm going too far under the limit instead of too high above or over. about it once again but uh, 
one of my favorite companions alongside me that keeps me company while I'm driving around is my uh, my trusty cup holder and uh, my uh, tumbler here, which is uh, whoop, careful not to go off the road. Pretty full of coffee at the moment. Uh, keeps me <laughs> keeps me energized through those long drives and stuff. Um, so it's no coincidence that uh, you know I also a lot of times tend to have uh, cups of coffee inside the cab and stuff. I don't think I do here. Yeah, we've got Ruffles chips. Uh, that's about it. In our little uh, backpack clipboard. Uh, we've got our 10 gallon hat and our little journal up there on the dash. Just hanging out. I think it was actually in the other truck that we drove yesterday. The, um, what did we drive yesterday? It was uh, another, another Kenworth, wasn't it? No, we did the International. Yeah, that's right, the HX520. Yeah, my memory's very spacey. Yeah, in our International yesterday, I think that's where I had, uh, in our little cup holders, I had a can of Coke and a uh, coffee mug, travel mug, tumbler, whatever you call them. So today I've got IRL, <laughs> big old tumbler of coffee, and this is this is what I have most of the time when I'm doing long drives or convoys, stuff like that. I always keep something to drink with me. Um, yeah, sometimes even a you know bottle of beer too. Uh, I'm not one to encourage drinking and driving, but. I think you can get away on, the, on that technicality. And that's a technicality only because we're driving... <laughs> we're driving a truck sim. Not a real truck. So... You don't have to worry about... Um, you don't have to worry about veering, veering out of our lanes and running red lights and smashing into other cars and... Especially don't have to bring out the breathalyzer because uh trucks him. So it's okay. But um I guess that would be something. If I look up, you know, uh ins inspiring pictures or whatever of different truck sim setups and seeing what other people are running. Uh, what they've got on their rig, like that, that gives me ideas. Uh, I went with everything that I have here because I knew that, like I, you know, I needed this at the at the minimal. I needed a wheel stand and attachment for the uh, the shifter and things like that. Uh, and like I'm saying, another essential is a, a cup holder, big enough to hold uh, the big ass coffee mugs that I. That I always use. I don't know why it went down to two there. Great Falls discovered. I thought I had been here before. Apparently not. Green light, come on. Don't miss it. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, go! Holy cow! I wanted to honk at him too, man. That's so stupid. <laughs> what? Golly, man. Hey, pal, you good? You probably can't hear me. My window's not down. Hey, uh... You know I almost ran into you, right? You slam brakes on us, man. You can't do that. That's not cool. I've got, I got tons of cargo behind me, dude. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Tch. Has to get the last word. What a, what a putz. Stole that word from goggles. 
don't know. I don't know if you can take somebody seriously if they, uh... <laughs> I don't know if you can take somebody seriously if they, uh... Call you a putz. I was in the car with somebody one time and, uh... I wouldn't necessarily call it road rage, I'd just call it mild frustration because the uh, person that I was in the car with who was driving got a little upset at somebody who clearly, clearly ran a red light at a highway intersection, you know, the bridge going over the highway. <laughs> the person I'm driving with calls him a doofus. <laughs> oh, that's a weird, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, it's a floating street sign. That one looks normal. The one before was just kind of floating in the air. She, she straight up just leaned out the window and yelled at him and called him a doofus. And I couldn't help but laugh because for one I'd never seen I'd never seen her get upset but also that's the word you'd go for? So that's the word you go for when you're upset at somebody who who did uh who did you wrong in traffic. You call them a doofus. Like I don't I don't know if I can take that seriously. I'd probably be even if I was the person who who was in the wrong, I'd probably be laughing more than anything, but it was funny, nonetheless. Dominoes. I saw a thing come up on my phone yesterday. Uh, I got the Domino's app and they send you... Ah, man. Okay, we'll start in low. Just avoid that. I dare somebody to count the number of times I've stalled during this video. It's not going to win you anything. I just want to know. However many times it, it was that I that I stalled is that many times too many. <laughs> you never want to stall. That's bad. Man, that's kind of irritating not having a a blinker noise. Unless it's there, it's just extremely quiet. I cannot hear much of anything. Right. And then turn right. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Neighborhood over there. Oh, it's a jet plane. I didn't even think. Are we near an airport? I'm not super familiar with this area, so I don't know if there's an airport around here. Sixty five. 
deer on the side of the road. Hopefully we're not behind on our delivery. I know that changing the time kind of uh, adds to the, you know, you lose that many hours. Ah, oh, it's right as I said it too. Look at that. Yeah, they're already kind of expecting it pretty soon. And we're an hour behind our estimated time of arrival. We should be okay. This is really cool. Rock on the side. I'm not sure what kind of rock that is, but I like the, the reddish color. Pretty nice drive through here actually. Slow to thirty five. That's a nice drive little scene right there. In the drive. Beautiful mountains. Montana never fails to impress. It makes you never want to leave. And it's so, like, uh, unmistakably Montana. <laughs> I can't wait to see the... Uh oh, 25. Holy cow. There's Lincoln. That's where we're taking our shipment to today. Cool little town here, right here. Golden Bar. I wonder what kind of restaurant that is. And diner. Burgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, pizza. Mmm. Ah, that sounds so good. I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. <laughs> that's a... That's a uh, very reflective statement there. Yeah, diners got me thinking about hot dogs. I think we go in on... Uh, let's see, where do we go? That entrance? Looks to be the case. We have arrived. Okay, so where do we drop off? Uh, I think back here. Oh, four. That's not right. One. That's what we need right there. Forgot I was still in my <laughs> higher set of gears. Uh, oh, right there, straight ahead. I couldn't even see it. Okay. Well, actually, uh, in that case, let's let's go around there. That way we can get a an easy drop, make it easier on ourselves.
We're gonna go behind this little barrier. Hopefully it doesn't do something stupid like put an invisible wall there. Or we can't drive there. I don't see why they would do that. Alright, good. That way we can drive right past it and back it up nice and easy. It looks like that's where our livestock are going to go. A little pin right there. Man, what a pretty drive. Nice and scenic and beautiful. Waiting to see that line. Where's that line at? There it is. Yeah, we're gonna need to straighten out for sure. These uh, trailers aren't the easiest to to mess with. No, not again. Gotta be kidding me, dude. Gee whiz. Ah, did it again. <laughs> I did not. Oh, no, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Rats. I'm gonna have to straighten out again. Man, these these livestock trailers always get me, dude. They're so so tricky sometimes. So so tricky. There we go. Keep it straight there. There we go. Sweet. Oh no, we were late. Oh, that sucks. By seven minutes. Drat. Man, it's all those engine stalls got me, man. <laughs> seven minutes worth. Shoot. Oh well. We did it. It was uh, 14 hours, 23 minutes, 361 miles, 49.7 gallons consumed. Man, we gotta work on we gotta work on not stalling that engine, man. That that shot us in the foot. Seven minutes. We lost seventy nine bucks. Well Oh well. It was still a nice drive. I enjoyed it. Uh really, really scenic and uh I mean that was that was gorgeous. So from Jordan to Lincoln is what we did. So um I'm excited for Nebraska as well, coming out soon. Um we'll be able to see some of the scenery through there and a lot of the um I guess mid, is that mid, west, north, central, whatever, uh, area of the country. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So I'm going to stop babbling now. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to the channel and watching the video. Hope you guys have a happy Wednesday and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Please drop a like while you're at it. I appreciate the love and support as always. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.